hey guys welcome back to another video today we are in enshrouded a survival building crafting and action rpg game set within a sprawling voxel based continent some of you were looking out for me to drop a tutorial so here it is a cozy little starter house that you can stay in for a while until you build your dream home so let's jump right in the build blocks and pieces needed to complete this build are flint stone rough stone block rough wood block shroud wood block tar shingle roof and stone shingle roof so i recommend you get a thousand each of these pieces so that you don't run out while building all right so the first thing we're going to do is going to grab our build hammer and open up our build menu by pressing tab once you have that done you just hold down on alt key now it will should give you all the categories that you can select i'm currently select um currently on the two meter section there and just release all key and it uh, drops down and i'm using the first option here so i have this little chunky block to do the foundation and what we're going to do is that you kind of we're going to look at the ground where the ground level is so it's kind of floating at the i bring it down one more i'm just using the mouse just looking up and down kind of thing here at the right position so you're just going to bring it right at the ground level uh you're going to bring it down one more so you see right in just a bit like that so we're going to use that height you're going to place that block and then you should be able to use it to snap the other pieces in once you have the uh when you press x and use the snapping points that is on the bottom right of your screen so once that is in place you're going to place one two three four and five then for the sides here you're going to go this is one two three and four it would repeat the same thing over here and basically fill this out next we're going to mark out where we're going to put our our columns so for the corners there are four corners so you're going to first open up your build menu press on all key you're going to go to the 1m section there and once you have that selected you can these now you will have a couple of options here you're going to number four it says two by two wall blocks so that's what we're going to use and you're going to use your right mouse key and take that out going all the way down the ground like that you're going to do the same thing here you may have to get on top just to make sure that you echo this properly. Uh, remember that you have a the good thing is that you have a undo button so you can press y to if you make a mistake of digging out the ground there and you did that why and this is really super handy do the state this out and we're just gonna fin do this last one here now once you have those in play so you're gonna switch on so press alt key and then you're going to go to the four meter 4m section release alt key and then you have a selection there so you're gonna go down to number six and you're going to switch your material so over to the right you hold down on control mouse wheel go down to flint stone have that selected and now you're going to position this in here now once once you have the snapping enabled you're going to have difficulty trying to get this right here so turn that off make it a lot easier for you and you see how it slides down like that now you're just going to basically use your position your character and also use your mouse to get this in so as you can see, it needs to go down a little bit more to the ground here. Just gonna make sure that uh, that happens. Let's see if we can get that right in here. It's a bit finicky, so it's gonna take a bit of practice. So but once you're in, you just look at the left or right. It looks like it's it's all good, and then it's perfectly in. Now we can do the other side here. Just make sure that you're at the right level. It looks like the same height. Place that in. Okay, made a mistake there. Do an undo like that and try to reposition it properly. There we have it. So we can just do the same thing for the other two. So now that you have your columns in, now the next thing that we're going to do is work out on the front here. So go back into your build menu and you're going to go back to 2M section and you're going to turn on the snapping point. This will help you to be precise and to get the right position where I'm placing mines now. So, because we have already placed some little blocks here, so we can use that as a guide uh, to find the right snapping point here. 
So we're going to place this in the center. So you can see it's right here. Let's place it right there like that. You're going to hold down an alt key, switch on back over to one M section. And you're going to go to the two by two wall blocks. You're going to place one right here and another here. Then all over this side here and in here. So that is how the front should look. All right. So the next thing that you're going to do, you're going to go back into your build menu and you go to the one M section. If you're still there, it's fine. Then the first one, number one, which is a single wall block. I'm going to use that to take uh, away this section here, just the front part here. You're going to take out the top and the bottom. So this pretty much removing this row here. All this. And just remember that you, if you made a mistake, you can press Y to undo. And to check if you have the correct measurements, so you can do have the one meter block if you're still on it. And you can, you should be able to count from this, from this spot here, one, two, three. If it is any, if it's more or less, then you may have to get that to the right, right amount there. And the, fi the front here, the width of it should be like counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so if everything is all good, then we can proceed further by taking out this corner here and the other side like this. You're going to switch back to, well, you're going to switch on over to the 2M section. So hold on Alt, scroll this wheel, and you're going to go to number five has a column here size and you're going to make sure that you are on the flintstone block you're going to switch that turn off snapping points so that you're able to position this uh, in correctly there down a bit here mouse down and get that and so you should have like a one extra right here and it's going to do the same thing let's move character forward get that in there and you should be good so this should be at the same height as these columns that we have placed here so we're just going to try to put this in let's move our character just a bit paste this other one right here well undo and as you can see all the columns are at the same height the next thing you're going to do hold on alt key make sure go to the 2m section and you're going to go to number two. Now you're going to make sure that you have the shroud wood block selected. So hold down on control and use the mouse wheel and scroll up to select like that. Now, once you have that selected, you're going to position this. Make sure that the snapping is off for this. So you're just going to use your character and your mouse to position this properly. So you may have to push your character back or forward, whichever. Then you're going to make sure that the, the wall is at the same height. So you want to place this first one here. Make sure that it's uh, more in and not out. So you have a little bit of depth here to the side. It's going to do this all around the here. So it's going to snap this in like that. So for this section here, if you're inside the bell, because the walls here, you're unable to kind of go all the way out so that you can position this wall in at the same height as the column. Not to worry, you can just uh, go back a bit here, hold down on your Q button and use your mouse wheel, use, scroll it forward and it should go down like that. And you're able to position it properly at the same height as the column. If in the case that you, you know, that the wood is pretty much above the height of the column, you can chisel it off by using the, the one Q. It's fine. You just can rotate that piece back a bit your mouse up and down, try to get the right level there and place it in like that. Do the same thing here on the other side, let's rotate this, after back a bit, get that lined up, then date it, press in R, position it properly, should be at the right height there, if not we can take it off, alright that is fine. So this is what you should have so far. So the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to go to the 4M section. And once you have that selected, go to number eight for the steers. Now you're going to position this. Now you may have to use, uh, you can use your Q or yeah, use your Q and mouse wheel to either push it forward or back. 
Uh, we used it earlier, so you may have to reposition it so that you can maybe see the piece. Because if you have it all the way forward and you're looking down on the ground, it's going to show it pretty much like it's in, all the way down in the ground. So you just pull it backward and it should be, should be able to see the piece. Now, once you have it in view, you're going to slide it to the front of our foundation there. It should have about three steps like that. And once you have this in, now we're going to switch on over to our one meter, one M section. And number two is our selection there. We're going to use the tar shingle roof over to the right. You have that. And what you're going to do is that you're going to hold down on control, select that. And then you're going to place a block right here and another right here. You're going to get this nice little arch for your little doorway here. And it's going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to work on our doorway here and what you're going to do is that hold on alt key and make sure that you're in the 1m section and you're going to select on number two you're already on it that's fine and what you're going to do is that you're going to skip right here and then just go back a bit and you're going to use you can use either the stone shingle roof or the tar shingle roof the one of them is fine and you're going to place a block one block right here two three, four, five. And right at five. Now this is going to be kind of tricky, but to make sure it's at the same level right here, both here is fine. This should be right up at the top there. So let me just do that. Just make sure they see clear. So where the box is positioned at where it seems like there's a, a gap there, but there isn't. There's a root piece there. You're going to snap it right there. And you're going to get a piece looking like this. So you're going to pretty much carry this all the way to this side here. So right at the top, not this part right at the top where it looks like it's there's this missing gap right here. You just bring this all the way over like that. You should have something like that. Then you're going to place these here going all the way up to meet that you should have your doorway shape this now you're going to put uh, one more row top here but you're going to need us put down a scaffolding to make it easier for you then it's going to place one right here switch back to your hammer press tab and then you can place these in just like that. So the next thing we're going to do is just make a little bit of adjustment here. So what you're going to do is that you're going to take out this this row blocks to right here. Just take that out here. Do that. So you should have a higher doorway looking like this. Now what you're going to make sure to do is to use a door just to check it if it is right size. So it should look like this once you place the door in. Good size there. All right, so the next thing that we're going to work on is the roof for the front here. So I want you to just make sure that the positioning is correctly as I have it, just to make sure that you have the same ease of placing this piece. So I held down on Q and have the piece, use the mouse wheel and shift it backwards. So all the way back. So this is all the way forward. This is all the way back so that you can get a closer view of how to place this thing. So you see me have a position right there and it seems like it has like a one meter overhang uh, right there for the, the roof to the left and for the front, it's like a little, a little hangover there for the front. So the next position is, the position would be like this and this would be the next thing. You have to make sure that you have this exact uh, look. Then you can place that in. Press R to rotate the piece you're just going to try to do the same thing. Just move your character around. So it's at the right position for the right side. Hang over and then we're going to move the character forward just to get it positioned just like that. And then you can snap that in. There we have it for the front. And we just need to work on this little area here. So just a correction here. And I just want to bear in mind of this. So whenever you're using the stone shingle roof for the top here, when you're placing these pieces in, you have to use the tar shingle roof. 
Uh, there's a reason because there's a cleaner when when these pieces meet, there's a clean line uh, to, to it. So it's a lot cleaner if it is the same piece. Another thing that you should note is that if you start this with tar shingle roof, you keep it at tar shingle roof. If you mix it with stone, you're gonna have a little bit of problem getting in some gaps here, and uh, that's what I've I've experienced. So just want to let you guys know of that if you're having difficulties getting this area, this part done. And once you have this in place, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna go right up to the top here, and let me just get the roof piece. There, make sure it's a star shingle roof. We're gonna place one right in that area there. Uh, let me undo. Let's make sure that it's in the right position. So right up there, and let me pull this back right there, right there, and then one, one over to the left top, and the other. They should have this uh, shape in the middle, and you can put a window right here just to finish that off. So I just wanted to point that out. Also, I do apologize for the the choppy audio. I'll try to next time, uh, next video to improve on that because this this is a different computer, so the settings are a little bit off. So while I was working on this, there was this interesting uh, trick I did, and <laughs> it was really cool. And I thought that this was gonna be like a, a sweet addition to this house. So if in the case that these uh, roof keys they are placed in are the tar shingle roof. Preferably, I know there's a little bit of extra work by taking it out and put it back in. Trust me, it's worth it. It's gonna be worth it when you see this. So what you're going to do is that once you it is the tar shingle roof you use right here, yes. Then you have the stone roof. You can just take this out. What happened? It creates this, and it's because the roof is not close enough for it to just show the wood and us the roof beams. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna reposition this roof here. Now you're going to slide it, uh, slide it upwards more. So before this was where it was at. Now dip it up a like this, and you're gonna snap that in. Oh, correction. Let me switch on over to the stone shingle roof. Let me just reposition that. Yeah, snap that in. So it should be a little bit higher. Then you're gonna remove this one here. Rotate it. Try to position it, bring it forward a bit, and tap that in. And it creates this cool little design here. I was not expecting at all. Uh, that's uh, that's really neat. And what you can do is that you can just grab your door also, and you're gonna set the door back a bit because we want to give it some depth, not in line, right? But back a bit, like that. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna focus on the, the base here, all around the structure bit more front here so you're gonna grab your we're going to hold down alt switch to 1m section select number one make sure that the flintstone is selected you're going to place one two three one two three so pretty much this should be a, the same height you should stop at this the height uh is the same as this then for the front here we're just gonna two like that do the same thing over here. I did it already. I'm just gonna put it And for this side here, you're pretty much doing it for all for all the columns. So you're just gonna go one, two, three, one, three, one, two, two. You should have it like this. So you can go ahead and the other columns and we'll move on here. So once you've added the, the details here to the columns, you can uh, switch on to using the hold on and control and switch over to the rough stone blocks. And you're just gonna place a one, two. Should be at the same height as this this one here. It's gonna pretty much bring it across. Like that. So do the same thing here on this side. There you have it. Now we're going to open up, uh, mark our window. So we're just going to, it should be, you should have a space of one, two, three, four when you use one meter cube. You're going to go right here, take out this block, take out this block, one, 
So pretty much you're taking out six of these blocks here so you can get a, a win nice window looking like that. Over to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. For the other side, what you're going to do is that you're going to count from one, two, you break this block. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to do the other side here. One, two, one, four. You go around the back here. You're just going to check from this side here. One, two, two space, and then break these two blocks. So let's go up one. Pretty much six, just like the front here. Do the same thing over here. Skip two blocks. One, two. Then break these two right here. Let's go all the way up there. Should have it looking like this. So you do the same thing here on this side for one, two. It's one, two. It's going all the way up that one. Okay, so next we're gonna install our windows. So this is much pretty pretty easy. Just build the regular windows and just rotate it and just snap this in. Now I also use the windows to add a little bit of detail to the front. So you're going to rotate the piece here and you're just going to aim here to the side. You're gonna get a snapping point. Yes, so going in to the wall like this. You're gonna snap that piece in, and then you should be able to snap another top like this. I've done this already on the other side, so you should have it in for these sides. So this and the other side here, you're going to place the window one right here, and you're gonna place another top. I'll make sure that they're in line with each other. Take this up. Let's make sure that it's pretty in line. Let's do the other side right here. here. And the next thing what we're going to do is that we're going to add our roof for the, the big structure here of the bill. And you're going to make sure that you have the stone shingle roof selected. And you're going to position this to make sure that it's at the same height as the front here. So basically the edge of the roof should be meeting the edge of the column right here. As you can see, just like that. So make sure that it's a one meter overhang. Just one meter overhang to the front like this. And to the side is all right. So you can just snap that in like that as you can see it's at the same height there let's do the same thing on the other side rotate the piece let's position it get it close in it's over okay so we have that one meter rang for the front and this side and we can snap that in and look at that it's uh, the same there you can just do this now to make it easy to snap the the root piece here just press x to turn on the snapping point and we're just going to try to aim right up there sometimes this can be a problem it's because this window is right here so <laughs> you may have to just take out this top window here so that that doesn't get in the way uh for you turn the snapping points on we have to get to do a higher height so we're just gonna grab our scuffle and uh, help us help us out here all right now let's go back to the hammer stab rotate we have the snapping point still enabled and able to get it in like that. Or if you're having difficulty, maybe you can turn it off and just try to position it uh, like like that. You can just do the same thing for the other side, pretty much easy, and then you can just fill the middle. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, so right here, we're gonna focus on the, this area here, and you're gonna select on number three, if you're still at the two meter roof uh, option, and you're gonna have the inner roof corner be selected. Now uh, this is, you have to make sure that this is snapped in exactly how I'm doing it, or it's, it's going to be a little bit off. Uh, so you're going to move your mouse over so that it can go in over, pretty much overlapping the roof that we already placed there, like about one meter, which is perfect. And you're just going to place that in. And just to make sure that it is uh, all good, you're just going to switch back to number one, take that piece there and try lined up properly. That everything looks like it's flushed. Look at it from the outside, it looks good. And you can pretty much do the other side here. Back to the corner, corner. Make sure that it's overlapping the piece here. If you put it to the edge, it's gonna be off. Overlapping it, as you can see, it's gonna probably go into the other roof here. Place that in, be good. And you can just use the roof side and just fill out everything. From, the, from this section here and back section. 
Next thing we're going to do, so if you're in the 2 me, two M roof section, so make sure that you're on the first one, number one here, and you're just going to position it. You're going to place it on top of this roof here. It's pretty much uh, going to be in line right here, but you're going to slide this down a little about right here. So the uh, highlighted piece here should be the edge of it should be in line with what I've built down here. As you can see, there's a little um, misty blue glow of the original piece of this piece here, and this should be just a little bit than this. So it should have it looking like this. The other piece right here is pretty easy to snap this one in. Just press X to enable this auto snap. The, uh, snapping point here just get that piece in like that now you would do the same thing here on the other side just like what i have here and once you have that done you can switch to number six which is the straight rooftop what you're going to do is that you're going to position this make sure to disable the snapping because that's going to be to make sure that uh, you have uh, you can use q to help to bring it backward uh, just try to find the right position for it. It's in Q right now. I'm gonna push it down or back like this and just get it to overlap both sides so that it comes up like that. So you're pretty much doing the same thing over here. Switch back to the number one. Just now make sure the front is in line. It's in line and then slide this our character a bit. Like that. That's about right there. So it should forward a bit. Right here, press X so that it snaps in there easy for you. Then switch to number six, straight rooftop. Disable X for the snapping point so you can get that in like that. Then you're able, to, and then that's how your roof is gonna look. So now that we are finished with the front here, so we're gonna focus on the side, the sides, and the back. So for the side here, we're going to, and you're gonna do the same thing for the other side here. You're gonna Pull this out so bring out our hammer we're just going to go to the 2m section there and go to number four door frame which is the name of it and you're going to make sure that you have straw wood selected and you're just going to place you kind of pretty much going to fill this uh, area here out make sure that the you uh, since snapping point is disabled so that uh, you don't have any problems trying to get this piece in here so you're just going to fill this out let's go across like this all the way up pretty much that's that that's it and for the window, the windows, you're gonna just open this up. One, two, so you should, should, oh yeah, you can put the windows back in. Especially for this side, you just get that in. Let me pick that up and position it properly. There we go. Back to the hammer. I'm just gonna open this up. Okay, we're good. So once this is pretty much done, you're gonna switch your material to the flintstone, and we're still using the, the one meter block cube. And just from the top here, I'm gonna put two. So one over here, one right. Pretty much, it should be centered. So see the peak there of the roof is centered to it, and it's gonna bring this line, bring it down. You can see that is how it should look. So you're carrying this all the way down here. Once you're here, uh, you can take this out right here. Place this in. Take that out, put this in. And basically you're going to place a extend it out like this. And just make sure that the piece of the meat here build out can be finicky when you're trying to get part so you may have to remove the top here just to get that in properly there we go then we're gonna put one more here one more right here now for the top here so right in front of it the, the very top but that plain stone so you're gonna place one here this one right there and you're just gonna bring it down to one two three this is uh that's the last. And just leave it 
leave it right there next thing you're going to do is that you're going to switch to go to number two use your mouse wheel still one m number two there and that says single roof blocks then you're going to switch on over to the car shingle roof so hold it on the control and use the mouse wheel now the reason why i want to use that because you're using stone roof and i want it to not attach give like a, a, a anime a, a rendering that is attached to the wood here but uh it shows that it's separate so you're going to place uh you're going to place fill this area here place one right there right actually so right here we're gonna take this one out you're actually gonna use go back to the one m one meter block you're gonna fill that fill that take this one out so it should be like this so we can do over here and just put an extra here And then I can switch back to the single roof block. And then I can carry this all the way up. This. Basically uh, like a, you know, eave. Eave of roof. And go all the way up like that. It should be good. That, as you can see, you notice where it is... It's smooth here. It's not joining close to the joining the other roof. Let me show you how it would look if it was the same roof piece I was using. You would get this uh, look right here. So it ha it has to be two different type of roof. So one stone roof and the other uh, the tar shingle roof. So make note of that. But that's a nice way to add a nice little clean look there. The next thing, next detail that you're going to add to the, the, the side here, you're going to place a splint stone, splint stone, right? One right here. So it's not here, to the edge, and one right there. You're also going to place a flint stones here, here, right here, and over. So this is the overall look you should have. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to grab your windows and just rotate it, stick this in the column and place snap this one on top of it like that and do the same thing here and you're gonna repeat the same thing on the uh, other side see if you know added those and uh, this that's pretty much it for the sides then for the, the the back here there's nothing much to do here and I think I want to just leave it plain as is because it's a back, so not much is going on. So the next thing we're going to focus on is adding our chimney. Now for the chimney. So you're going to have, go to the one of the one uh, M section. Select the first block number one. I've already taken out two right here. So you're just going to take out two more here from the top. So one on this side and one on that side here. So you pretty much have room to place a, a, a two by two wall block here. So this piece I'm on number four and you're going to switch to the rough stone block and you're going to place that right in here. It's like, well, make sure that it's centered. So let me go right up the top here and get this center. Let's lower it down just a bit, just like that. Then we can raise this up about, uh, let's give it about, um, say, this height. I think this is a uh, good end. And then we're going to switch back to our number one, one meter block here. And we're just going to do the sides here, going around it like so. Because it's a tiny house. We're gonna give it out a tiny chimney, not too big, and that is pretty much it. So the next thing we're gonna look at. So we're currently inside here, and if you've noticed that I've, I've dug out the the foundation of uh, place here to do the structure here. So to give you an idea as to how far down I've dug this area out to, uh, out to, uh, so using the the cube going in one M. And the two by two cube here from this point here, and then in the the two M uh, section there, is this 
this size here. So it's about uh, yeah. So this and the the two by two meter cube. Okay. So next we're gonna do what I want you to do is just to make sure that you have uh just place this down here or maybe it is in the corner or if you have it like me which is fine so that you can maybe if you want to center the doorway that you're gonna place right here so if this is down in the corner so you're gonna place one of these uh two by two wall blocks this is in the 1m section one right here just kind of get the so that you can be accurate in placing this doorway i'm just gonna put uh it's gonna be somewhere right here is where i'm gonna put the the uh Right here is where I'm going to put the doorway. So I'm going to take this out. So just remember, it's about the, this chunky one here is coming out like this. I think this two of these makes one, one of these um, the width of it. So if you put two of these, that's fine. And then right here would be the opening that you're going to use. And uh, you just basically can use this uh, the two by two block and just kind of dig out this area here. Just go all the way back. Just Take out, take out the top here. Just gonna push this back a bit. So just to give you an idea how far I've dug this back, uh, it's basically about two of these two by two wall wall blocks here. You can see from the the foundation here. So that will give you a clear idea how far I brought this back. And then now what we're gonna do is go to the two M section and go to number eight for the stairs. And we're just going to slide this in, try to center it and bring it down just a bit, going into the ground like that. Should be able to go down smooth like this. May have to. I think that's is that is it. Yes, nice and clean. So we can what you can do is just do the sides here. So you can switch to number seven and try to position this uh, down. So you may have to go down here and. Uh, Try to place it at an angle, so we're just going to shift my character just a little bit here, lower it down. I think that is good, and we're just going to place that in like that. Then we can do the other side. See, nice and clean. So we're able to pass through and uh, get out. So we maybe we can, but we also need to need to clean this up a bit. Let me push this a bit further this way. So just have to bear in mind of the position in there. You just have to check to see if it's all good. It's all good right here. So I, I'm able to, I can work with this. And then uh, what I'll do is that I'll switch back to number one. I'm still in the 2M section here. And it feels like I need to put like a, one of these. Well, let me go for a smaller one. Let's go to the 1M and try to put a block right beside it. Just to clean this up. Let me go. To, let it stop right there. Yeah. Let's put this down. Undo it. So I'm trying. I'm aiming at the side here so I can get that in. You may have to. You may have to dig the area. And maybe you can use this same block and dig the area, and then you can place it in if you're having difficulty, like what I'm having currently. Let me move this cooking station as it's creating a little problem. I can just dig it out and then I can just place it in the ground like that. Once you're comfortable with your, the size of your root cellar, whichever size you choose, and just put your flooring in. It's going to take some time. It can be a little bit finicky here, but just remember, remember to shift your character around and just get the positioning right. And you should be good from there. I'm just going to go ahead and decorate this off screen and then show you what I have. Okay, so here's the final preview of the build, and this is what I was able to do. It's pretty minimum as to what you would uh, access right off the bat. Now, these carpets, you won't access them unless you get the Hunter, which is further down. But yeah, it's not so hard to find the Hunter. The only well, the only NPC I found uh, a little bit of a difficulty getting is the Carpenter. So he's a bit of a challenge where you're going. But this is how it's set up here got some nice chandeliers and this is from the carpenter too so he has some cool stuff i can say and there's a, a lot lot more out there to unlock so while i was even doing this whole build i was exploring and got those stuff here and set up a nice little fireplace here making the place cozy and then we're gonna head around the back here 
where I toss all of the crap and stuff here, the two killings outside, and down here I place the forge, just temporarily because I'm going to give each of these NPCs their own house. So just to set up some little chests here, and just place a couple of the racks. It's, this is a decent amount of space for just for early for the early game. So yeah, I hope this was pretty uh, much of a help to you guys to understand the whole game system and learn a few tricks there. That is it, hope you had fun building this, and don't forget to always aspire to inspire. Peace.